Hi, my name is Peter Willington and I'm a Commonwealth Registered Marriage Celebrant. I'm coming to you today on the YouTubes from my courtyard in Nunda. And this is Rafa et Ax Volume 1.1, or in English, Really Frequently Asked or Easy to Answer Questions, Volume 1.1. So today, as one of my very first videos, I want to take a bit of a scattergun approach to a bunch of questions that I get all the time. And I also want to tackle some of the less common questions that can be answered in a few sentences or so. Uh, so a little while back, I took to social media. I asked you all for questions that you wanted me to answer and my lovely wife collated them for me on this iPad. And I'm gonna answer them just basically as I read through them like I would if we were sitting down at an initial meeting. So I just quickly want to point out um, before we get started, you know, uh, one of the reasons that I uh, do call this volume one is that I intend to do a fair few of these videos on a fairly regular basis, you know, every couple of months or so. So if you do have a question you'd like to see me answer in volume two, please do reach out. Um, I'm also calling this particular video point one because just looking at the number of questions here, I, I there's no way I'm going to get through it in one video and uh, you're not going to want to, you know, stretch your legs or, or get up or do anything like that. So, um, so look, I'm just going to take a break on a completely arbitrary basis as we sort of go through. And, you know, that's just for both of our sakes. Um, and look, also before we get started, uh, I haven't read these questions yet, but I also uh, don't know how relevant this is. But if it's questions about sort of my services and what I include, which I'm assuming there will be, look, these are only gonna be relevant to me and my clients. So if we're not working together, have a chat to your celebrant about these issues or see if they address them on their website. So with no further ado, let's sort of break into the first question, which is, Okay, perfect. Uh, what's my preferred method of communication? Um, look, for the initial inquiry, my preferred way for you to get in touch is by using the inquiry form on my website. Um, in fact, even if you do get in touch another way, I'll probably refer you there anyway. Uh, the reason is that this form sort of asks for all the information that I need, uh, not only to let you know if I'm available, but it also uh, gives me the information to create a record for you and your partner in my systems. You know, just to, to um, you know, make sure I get off everything on on the right foot and just stay organized from the very outset. Um, after that, whatever way that you prefer, you know, whether it be phone, text, email, social media, um, in person, whatever. Um, the only one that I'm against is carrier pigeons and that's because my dogs go mental when they see a bird in the courtyard. Yeah. Um, so how does this thing work? How do we book you and where do we go from there? Um, Look, I'll make another video about this, covering it in much more detail, but you know, just make an inquiry or otherwise get in touch. Um, from there, we'll set up a meeting, whether it's in person or over the phone or F Skype or FaceTime or any of those things. Um, after that meeting, if you think you'd like to book me as your celebrant, I'll send you some documentation, um, which just sort of confirms the details as I uh, am aware of them. Uh, I'll also send you a copy of my terms, which are available on my website and you know, just some other documentation that I'm obligated to send you. Um, after that, uh, it'll also have uh, information on how to pay the booking fee, and once that's been paid, we're locked in. Um, from there, look, we'll stay in touch as frequently or as infrequently as you like, um, up until about three months before the wedding. Uh, at this point, is, it, we'll really start planning the wedding um, and the ceremony in particular. Um, we'll meet and figure out the outline, um, and then sort of after that, you know, each, uh, each couple have, we have our own sort of path. There is no standard process. Um, one thing that I will say is that, you know, this process is really driven by you. Um, I'll generally make the assumption that everything's under control if I don't hear from you, other than, you know, a couple of minimum times that we need to touch base. But, you know, don't hesitate to reach out um, about anything. And we'll sort of talk about what your expectations are at the, um, the early stages. So, um, okay. What are my office hours? Um, Look, uh, I don't really have office hours. Um, it's because, you know, this is what I do. And if I'm awake, it's office hours. Uh, while, you know, this will probably change in the next couple of weeks uh, when my daughter gets here. In general, I'm up by about 6 a.m. and I generally go to bed at about 10 p.m. Um, but, you know, once the baby's here, don't be shocked if I reply to emails at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, hi to the person who, who asked this question. Um, <laughs> Can I ring you at midnight in a panic? Look, I'd prefer if you didn't, 
uh, unless it was a really extreme uh, situation, you know, look, the, there are extreme situations. Um, so if something comes up, yeah, don't hesitate. Look, I'd, I'd prefer if you didn't, but, you know, if you feel like something is such an important issue that you need to get an immediate answer from me, or you just want to let me know about something that's happened at midnight, you know, then I, I trust your judgment um, that it's something important enough to get me out of bed for. Um, do you fill out all of the forms? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, most of the forms have specific ways that they need to be filled out. And you know, while you can do it yourself, it's, it's not exactly rocket science. Uh, some of the nuances can be a little bit tricky. Um, in fact, some of these nuances are subject to much debate and intrigue uh, between celebrants at the moment with the, the recent changes that have gone through. Um, it's also just kind of easier for me to do it. I have software that fills it out nicely rather than trying to squeeze things into boxes using the PDF reader or handwriting the forms and those sorts of things. Um, look, it takes me about 30 seconds to, uh, you know, to enter the data that I have to enter anyway into my system. So look, I'll, I'll do a, a video about the forms at a later date, but no, I, I do look after them. Um, and yeah, and with that, I, I think I'll wrap up the end of volume one of, uh, of uh, the, you know, the really frequently asked or easy to answer questions. Uh, as always, if you haven't yet decided on a celebrant, I'd really love to be considered. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me use in a, in a future video, um, or even something in this video that you'd like me to cover in more detail, let me know through the comment sections below or you know, get in touch through my social media platforms. Uh, I'll give you a bonus if you use the hashtag R-E-F-A-R-E-T-A-Q um, or use the inquiry form on my website. Um, and also, if, if you did like this video, please go and check out the rest of the videos uh, in the R-E-F-A-R-E-T-A-Q series, um, as well as you know the general Peter Wellington Weddings Talks videos, um, and I'd love it if you could subscribe to the channel as well. So uh, look, other than that, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to chatting all things weddings again with you soon. Cheers.